Welcome to Designer Digital Spy Weekly Tip, May 6, 2016. This week, filling shapes with text in Photoshop and elements, squares and rectangles, circles and ovals. This week, we're beginning a series of tips on ways to shape text creatively in Photoshop and or elements. We'll begin with simple shapes, just squares and rectangles, circles and ovals. This is a really handy skill to have so that you can fill tags and labels and journaling cards, journaling stamps, and journaling spaces on your scrapbook page with type. Here's how. Begin by opening your project document. Get the type tool from the toolbar to select it. Click and drag out a text box on your document. It will look like a dotted line as you're drawing. And you can adjust the size and the shape of the box as you're clicking and dragging. Holding the shift key as you drag creates a perfect square, but dragging without the shift function allows you to create a rectangle of any dimension. When you have the text box drawn, release the clicker and reposition your text box if you need to. It'll just come outside the box and move it into place. Select the font, font size, and color from the options bar at the top of the screen or the bottom of the screen depending on your software. And then all you have to do is begin typing. Your text will be constrained to the boundaries you set when you created the text box. Tick the check mark to confirm the text when your journaling is complete. Creating text in circles and in ovals is a little bit more complicated but it's easy once you get the steps down. Begin by making sure that the foreground color on the foreground color chip at the bottom of the tool bin contrasts with your project. You can press D on the keyboard to make the foreground color black and the background color white, or you can click the foreground color chip and choose any color from the color picker. You don't need to worry about making it a color you like because it won't be seen in the final version. Right now, it just needs to contrast with your document background so that you can see it clearly. Next, get the ellipse tool. This is a tool that shares a space on the toolbar with the rectangle tool and the custom shape tool and the polygon tool and the line tool. Just click and hold the rectangle tool to get the flyout menu of hidden tools and choose ellipse. Click and drag out an oval on your page. Again, you can make it any size or dimensions that you'd like just by moving the cursor around. I'm going to delete this because I want a, a perfect circle, and so I'm going to hold the shift key as I click and drag to make a circle. Switch to the move tool if you need to reposition your circle on your tag. I'm just going to drag this into place on this pretty tag. Now get the type tool. And again, select a font, a font size, and a font color from the options bar. I'll choose this pretty pink and click OK. Make sure that the ellipse you drew is selected in the layers panel, so you'll want to be on the ellipse layer. Move the cursor over to the shape on your document. The cursor changes to an eye surrounded by a circle when you are inside your shape. Click and begin typing. Your text will be constrained to the oval or circle. Tick the check mark to confirm your text. Finish by hiding the ellipse. Just click the eyeball on the left side of the ellipse layer to hide it. In the next tip, I'll show Photoshop users how they can avoid using this step by using a little bit more advanced method. But this technique helps you journal in a shape that will fill journalers and tags and labels for your digital projects. In the next tip, we'll move on to those more complicated shapes. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.